Now, we are pleased to welcome our Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi ji on the dais. May I now request Sri Deepak Kumar, Director General of ESIC, to welcome our Honorable Prime Minister by presenting a bouquet. Tiru Deepak Kumar, Talaymai Yakunar, Tolilalar Arasu Kapitri Kalagam, Poongotthine, Namadu Pradamar Avargalukku, Valangigirar, Nandri Avargalukku. May I now humbly request Tirupon Radhakrishnan, Union Minister of State for Road Transport and Highways and Shipping, to present the welcome address. Anivarakum Anbana Vanakangalitri with the Kuling Din, Most Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi Ji, His Excellency Dr. Roshaya, Governor of Government of Tamil Nadu. Shri Pandar Dathatreya, Honorable Minister of State for Labor and Employment Government of India. Thirupi Selumani, Honorable Minister for Municipal Administration, Government of Tamil Nadu. Thirupi Mohan, Honorable Labor Minister, Government of Tamil Nadu. Dr. C. Vijay Bhaskar, Honorable Health Minister, Government of Tamil Nadu. Thirupi Naharajan, Honorable Member of Parliament, Secretary, Union Minister for Labor and Employment, Director General ESIC. Officers from central and state governments, other distinguished guests, media persons and ladies and gentlemen. And we are privileged to welcome you all for yet another milestone in the history of Employees State Insurance Corporation under the dynamic leadership and able guidance of our Honorable Prime Minister, who is here to inaugurate and hand over the newly constructed building of ESIC building, Medical College Hospital, Coimbatore to Tamil Nadu government. In the Arpudamana, we are going to Kati Mudith, Tamilakara Sangatirku, Varanga Vandrikind, Namudea Pradama, Narendra Modi of Hede, Manapuro Mahe, Irigarangu Pina, Mahilchodu, Varavir Kindro, Athode, Gavaridan Rikind, Anitu Peri Ulim Kudanam, Varavir Kindro, ESA Marutone in Sulwade, Marabusara, Tudilar Hilekaha, make a petty Kindade, Namudea Arasangam, Palveri Titangle, Namudea Pradama, Narendra Modi of De Talamile, Tolilar Hude Muneta Tirkahum, or a Kudamangu de Muneta Tirkahum Kundavandrik in Dedim, Adele Meha Mukia Mahe, or a Suhada at the Painting in the Mahele in the ESA Murtumri Ponda Vehil, Amaka Patrik in the name, Tarpo the Matira Sanga Tunde, Tolilar Train Mulamak and Adata Patukur in the in the Marutumane, Namade Manila Sanga Tunum Opatica Petri, Barangala Tre, Koyambutur, Turpur Ponda Pahil Rukodia. Palaira Kanaka and Namade Tolila Hilik, Bindara Kudiavahili, Amerikin Dedu, Ahwe Indi in the Nihil Chile, Varidan, Namakalam, Perme Serko Kudiavahili, India, Ulahinode, Mudali, Nadaka, Alitichin to Kudirikin De, Namude, Pradama, Narendra Modi, Kainale, is the Trakavika Patipadre, Nam Mahilchad Hindu, Varim Kalatil, Namade Tolila Hilik, Melam Serapa Serko Kudiavahili. Eradaman at Titangle, Namode Pradam, Narendra Modi, Wadanga Katayara, and the Rikin Darrell, other Kalam, Mudal, Tuaka Mahe, in the Nihilchi, I mean the Rikin Dedim, in the Nihilchi in Mula Mahe, Namode, Kovei, Matum Sutuatar, Tilaka Kudia, Anit to Makaram, Mihapiri, Adavile, Bainbara Kudia, I mean the Rikin by the Maghilchu, the Tirivitukulindo, in the Walaham, Lachatin, Nupati Muayram. Sadra meter Parapadivile, Amike Patrik in Dedim, Era Korea, Ainu Tiemba, the Kodi Rubai, Cheleville, Amike Patrik in Dedim, in the Maruto Manil, Yapur the Vandalam, Sihichi Koduka Kodia Bahil, Air Particle, Chia Patrik in Dedem, Chirap Air Particle, Noyad Hilikan, a Chirap Air Particle, Varanga Patrik in Dedem, in the Walaham, Varanga Latile, 
நம்முடைய தொழிலாளர்களுக்கு வேலை செய்யக்கூடிய உந்துதலை மேலும் கொடுக்கக்கூடிய வகையில் உறுதியாக அமையும் என்கின்ற நம்பிக்கையோடு இங்கே வரையறுந்திருக்கின்ற அனைவருக்கும் எங்களுடைய வணக்கங்களை தெரிவித்து கொண்டு இந்த நிகழ்ச்சியிலே வந்து கலந்து கொண்டிருக்கின்ற நம்முடைய மரியாதைக்குரிய பிரதமர் நரேந்திர மோடி அவர்களுக்கும் மரியாதைக்குரிய அனைத்து பெரியவர்களுக்கும் எங்களுடைய வணக்கங்களை தெரிவித்து கொண்டு இந்த நிகழ்ச்சிக்கு வந்தமைக்காக நன்றி கூறிய பிரதமருக்கு மீண்டும் மீண்டும் நன்றி கூறி அமைகின்றோம் நன்றி வணக்கம் Thank you, sir, for your welcome address. May I now humbly call upon Thirubandaru Dathatre, Union Minister of State, Independent Charge for Labor and Employment, to address the August audience. Welcome, <clears throat> Honorable. Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, His Excellency Governor of Tamil Nadu Sri Roshaya Garu and esteemed guests and dais, invitees, members of our ESAC family, including insured persons who are our VIPs, friends from members of media, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I am very privileged to honor to be part of the August gathering where the Honorable Prime Minister is present on the auspicious occasion of inauguration and handing over of newly constructed ESIC Medical College and Hospital building in this famous industrial city of Coimbatore. As the Chairman of Employee State Insurance Corporation, I feel very proud to mention that ESIC is the only social security organization in India which provides multiple benefits to the insured persons and their beneficiaries covered under the ESI scheme. We will know that the ESI scheme for the last 64 years is providing comprehensive medical care and certain cash benefits to its beneficiaries. ESI scheme is unique, perhaps unparalleled in the world. I must say that India is now coming of age in field of healthcare with the expanding infrastructure, harnessing existing emergency technologies for affordable healthcare, using our abundant heritage of traditional medicines and exploring the new paradigms for preventing the disease and creating wellness. And do our delight, EICC has been doing its silent for over 66 decades. Ever since its inception, the post-independence era with India's first Prime Minister, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, as the first insured person of ESIC. It is a matter of great pride for all of us that ESIC has today embarked upon a glorious journey, now completing its 64 glorious years in the service of our great nation on 24th February. It is heartening to see that the commitments made to its stakeholders are being fulfilled by ESIC. ESIC has become one of the largest social security organizations, offering a better and brighter tomorrow for all ESIC beneficiaries, making every insured person feel like a VIP. I am happy to note that ESI dispensaries and super specialty hospitals offer world class treatment to the insured persons and their families. ESI has so far set up 151 hospitals, 1,459 dispensaries, and 188 ISM units, and payment of cash benefits. The ESIC operates through network over the 61 regional office, sub-regional offices, and divisional offices, 621 branch offices, and 185 pay offices situated all over the country. Our government 
under the leadership of honorable prime minister as interest of workers has its utmost concern and committed to work for the welfare of workers and improvement in their quality of life by providing all possible amenities to them aicic is modernizing and constantly upgrading the facilities and has embarked upon initiatives for providing the high quality services i am very proud to mention that sri narendra modi ji honorable prime minister launched aicic second generation of health reform agenda on 20th july 2015 the silent features are online availability of electronic health records of insured persons and their family members ensuring the change of bed sheet every day in aicic hospitals according to the web guide pattern as a part of swachh bharat mission every evening opd in aicic hospitals for senior citizens and disabled person medical helpline 18001138394 for emergency and seeking guidance from the esi hospitals aicic has recently launched its hospitals website which facilitates the insured persons to book online appointment with a doctor of a particular discipline spread across 36 aicic hospitals from anywhere any time i feel very proud to mention that during the last one year the new government under the leadership of honorable prime minister has initiated many actions to bring efficiency transparency and accountability in the functioning of the esic under the digital india initiative esic has launched e governance project in its various operation which includes the initiatives like project panchadeep pehchan card employer portal and ip portal aimed at employers esic has initiated the payment of esic contribution through net banking for achieving the object of simplifying business regulations and bringing in transparency and accountability in labor inspection the inspection scheme of esic has been integrated with the shram suvidha portal of ministry of labor employment esic has become first organization to integrate its services it is a registration employers through the ebits portal department of industrial policy and promotion for furthering the cause of ease of doing business and reducing the cost of transaction esi scheme was first implemented in the state of tamil nadu in coimbatore in its suburbs on 21st january 1955 followed by chennai and its suburbs in november 1955 thereafter the scheme has progressively been extended in other industrial centers it is mentioned that esic sub regional office in coimbatore started functioning from january 1990 with jurisdiction of districts of coimbatore erod tirupur nilgiris 18 branch offices 50 dispensaries are functioning under the esic sub regional office coimbatore esic scheme is implemented in 25 centers within the jurisdiction of coimbatore sub region and esic scheme has implemented in 18770 factories and establishments with more than 6.15 lakh insured persons friends this medical college was conceived to directly run by the employee state insurance corporation but the present government at the center has taken the decision to hand over the college to the state government and today the college building is being officially handed over to the government of tamil nadu this shows the spirit of cooperative federalism practiced by government of india under the prime minister sri narendra modi ji i am sure the new medical college and the esi associated with its building at cost of 580 crore will be borne to the esic insured persons and their family members in and around coimbatore and tamil nadu friends ministry of labor and employment government of india has taken a number of initiatives 
the legislative reforms. We have amended bonus act, which has increased a wage ceiling from 10,000 to 21,000, and benefit ceiling from 3,500 to 7,000, or a minimum wage of scheduled employment, whichever is higher. Here, I would like to profusely thank Honorable Prime Minister, who directed this benefit be extended to our workforce retrospectively with effect from 1-4-2014. We are also bringing amendments to the Child Labor Act, Maternity Act, and bring them in tune with the times. Under Samasvita portal, lean employers and end arbitrary inspection, computer-based inspection scheme has been put in place for bringing the transparency, where inspection reports are to be uploaded mandatorily within 72 hours. My priority is to work putting in place a social security net for the unorganized sector in India, which constitutes 93% of the workforce, numbering 45 crores. My ministry is working on this. I would once again like to reiterate our commitment to provide the best possible services to our beneficiaries through use of technology so that they are healthy and productive and are able to give the best development of our national economy. Last but not the least, I express my deep sense of gratitude to each one of you for reposing your trust and confidence in all the schemes and policy framework of ESIC for which you deserve a thundering applause from my side. I sincerely thank the Honorable Prime Minister for blessing this occasion and assure that we in the Ministry of Labor and Employment are working to realize the vision of Honorable Prime Minister of taking India to greater right. I also thank His Excellency and all dignitaries on the dais and all of you for being present on the occasion. Jai Hind. Thank you, sir. Now is the time of handing over the state of the art ESIC Medical College and Hospital by our Honorable Prime Minister to the Government of Tamil Nadu. A Honorable Ministers of the Government of Tamil Nadu, Thiru P. Mohan, Thiru S. P. Velumani, and Dr. C. Vijay Baskar are requested to receive the scroll. Ippoludu, Namadu Nigalchil, ESIC Maruthuva Kalluri Matru Maruthuva Manayin Pattayam Oppadaippu Nigalvukku Namadu Maanbumigu Pradamar Pattayatinai Namadu Thamilaga Arasin Maanbumigu Amaychargalukku Valangagirar. Anevarakum Nandri Devyo or Sajno Ap Pratikshaki Gadi Samapthui Ham Logon Ke Lok Priya Karishmai Urjavan or Janapri Neta Jinke Netritve Mehamara Desh Bot Tezi Se Pragati or Vikas Ke Patpur Aggressor Hai or Vishwake Patalpur Apni Pechan Banaraha Hai Hame Sambodit Karenge मैं विनम्रता पूर्वक माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी से अनुरोध करती हूं कि वे हमें संबोधित कर हमारा मार्गदर्शन करें नाम इधर पार्थ कोंडरंद तारुनम वंदवेट्टे दे यार उड़िया तड़े में यल इंडिया तेरे नाड़े वेग मान वालर्चियों मुन्ने ट्रमों कंडे कुंडुल्ले दो मेलुप इंडिया वे उलग वरी पड़तल ओलील Yellow Ralum Potra Padakudia, Makal in Talever, Tarpod, Namade, Pesavar Girar, Namudia Manbumiga Pradamar, Avergalai, Pesavarumaru, Avarudia Madipuku, Valigata the Ruku, Engaliku, Alikumaru, Pani Wooden, Vendigiro. Wanna come? Indu Kove Man Garma Vandadil Mailchi
गवर्नर डॉक्टर के रोसैया जी मंत्रिपरिषद के मेरे साथी श्रीमान बी दत्तात्रेय श्रीमान पोम राधाकृष्णन जी श्रीमान पी मोहन जी सी एस पी वेलुमणि जी डॉक्टर सी विजय भास्कर श्रीमान पी नागराजन श्री शंकर अग्रवाल जी ईएसआईसी डायरेक्टर श्रीमान दीपक कुमार और विशाल संख्या में पधारे हुए सभी महानुभाव आई हैव अ ग्रेट प्लेजर टू बी विथ ऑल ऑफ यू एट कोयम टूर द टेक्सटाइल कैपिटल ऑफ साउथ इंडिया एंड द कॉमर्शियल हब ऑफ तमिलनाडु टू इनोग्रेट द न्यूली कंस्ट्रक्टेड बिल्डिंग फॉर द मेडिकल कॉलेज एंड द हॉस्पिटल on this occasion the central government has also handed over the existing hospital the medical college and related buildings to the government of tamil nadu it reinforces my government's commitment to cooperative federalism i hope that the government of tamil nadu will act quickly to start the college this project worth 580 crore rupees will be a boon to esic beneficiaries and their family members in and around coimbatore of the 100 mbbs seats proposed here 20 seats will be reserved for the children of persons insured under the esi schemes we should strive to make this medical college and hospital a model for high quality medical education and treatment to workers of the tamil nadu state my government is committed to the development of a generous and comprehensive social safety net for all the workers for the over 45 crores unorganized sector workers in addition to the rsby health insurance program we have started the pradhan mantri jeevan jyoti bima yojana pradhan mantri suraksha bima yojana atal pension yojana to provide life and accident insurance this commitment to the builders of modern india comes from the firm belief that aswastha and samruddha samik will make a samruddha rasht we have initiated major reforms of the epfo and esic for the benefit of organized sector employees a universal account number has so far been allotted to over 6 crore sector workers enabling portability of their epf accounts further we propose to expand coverage and offer additional facilities and services through the esic 
the esi scheme is based on the gandhian principle of contribution as per the ability and benefits as per the requirement this principle entitles an insured person or their family members to uniform benefits though only paying a contribution proportionate to his or her wage apart from medical benefit esic also provides sickness disablement dependents maternity and unemployment allowance benefit to the insured persons its unique character with no restriction on the expenditure and instances where more than 30 to 40 lakh rupees have been spent on treatments it means that esic health scheme has been a boon to millions of workers friends from its modest beginning in 1952 with just two centers in kanpur and delhi the esi scheme today is implemented in 830 centers in 34 states and union territories it covers over 7 lakh factories and establishments across the country and benefits to 2 crore workers and about 8 crore beneficiaries in tamil nadu the scheme has over 85000 participating employers and over 28 lakh insured persons coimbatore itself having nearly 27000 employers it is available in 31 districts of tamil nadu there are 10 esi hospitals in tamil nadu after handing over this hospital there will be eight esi hospitals in the state run by the state government the esic hospital tirunen veli is proposed for upgradation from 50 to 100 beds there is a large network of 201 esi dispensaries in the state for outpatient treatment for the insured persons and their family members coimbatore itself has 50 dispensaries my government is dedicated to the welfare of our brothers and sisters who are our rashtra nirmatas sensing the need for expansion of esic i have launched a second generation reform agenda name esic 2.0 in july last year during the indian labor conference held in new delhi the coverage of esi scheme has been extended to the remaining north east states arunachal pradesh mizoram manipur and nicobar island it is proposed to expand the coverage from only the industrial and commercial clusters within a district to the entire district by 31st march 2016 this year since 1st august last year the scheme has been extended to construction workers i strongly believe in the improvement of public service delivery standards in keeping with this several initiatives have been started to improve the quality of service delivery in esi hospitals they include 
online availability of the electronic health record of ESI beneficiaries, establishment of an emergency medical helpline, and creation of special outpatient services for senior citizens and differently able persons in SIC hospitals to improve cleanliness the abhyan. The abhyan in the dhanush changes bed sheets according to the rainbow pattern each day of the week. Cleanliness is an important aspect of preventive health care. Studies show that it can lead to saving of almost 7,000 rupees per year for per poor family. Among other initiatives, the ESIC has resolved to adopt two model hospitals in each state apart from a mother and child care hospital. I am happy that ESIC proposes to expand coverage by complementing its own services with public-private partnership. Apart from cancer detection, cardiology treatment, and dialysis, the corporation also proposes to offer in a phased manner pathological and X-ray facilities in all its dispensaries through PPPS. Besides allopathic treatment, ESIC hospitals will also provide Ayush treatment in a phased manner. Friends, my government has taken a number of path-breaking steps for the welfare of workforce of our country. From September 2014, we have revised the Employee Provident Fund Organization, EPFO, pension to minimum of 1,000 rupees per month. The wage ceiling for EPF benefit has been raised from 6,500 to 15,000 rupees since 1st September 2014. An EPFO mobile app has been launched for easier access to its services for both workers and employers. The Bonus Act has been amended to increase the ceiling for eligibility and bonus payable to 21,000 and 7,000 rupees for month respectively. Keeping in mind our commitment to minimum government, maximum governance, the ministry is simplifying central labor laws by consolidating the existing 44 laws into four labor codes, namely on wages, industrial relations, safety and security, and health. This would considerably increase the ease of doing business and facilitate job creation without compromising on the genuine protection and rights available for our workers. We are prog progressing on the reform path by building consensus on these reforms through extensive stakeholders' consultation with employers, workers' representatives, and state governments. Asram Suvidha portal has been created for online services related to 16 labor laws, including a process of transparent and random inspection of businesses. A lean number has been issued to nearly 1 million employers, enabling them to process single filing on eight labor laws. The services offered by ESIC and EPFO have been integrated with the e-business portal of the Department of Industrial Policy and Promotion. 
to promote ease of business and limit transaction costs. Further, it is proposed to promulgate new EPFO and ESIC Act, providing more choice, increase coverage among workers and employers, and better and expanded range of services for organized sector workers. Our plans to expand ESIC facilities, indeed the establishment of this medical college itself, is a part of a larger plan to upgrade the facilities for medical education and specialized care. We have also approved a scheme for upgradation of existing state and central government medical colleges to increase MBA, MBBS seats. Through this, we hope to increase 10,000 MBBS seats and support the college with funds for equipment and infrastructure. So far, 23 medical colleges have been approved to increase over 1,700 MBBS seats. I'm happy to inform that four state government medical colleges in Tamil Nadu at Coimbatore, Kanyakumari, Tirunel Valley, and Madurai have been approved for upgradation by adding 345 more MBBS seats. With similar objective, we are also promoting the establishment of aims like institution across the country. On such, one such institution has also been approved for Tamil Nadu and with the active support of the state government, I hope this institution will start admissions quickly. Friends, we all know that the father of the constitution is Bharat Ratna Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar. But not many of us are aware of the immense contribution made by Baba Sahib to the formulation of our labor laws. I am therefore happy to inform that Ministry of Labor and Empowerment organized a conference in Delhi last month to commemorate the 125th birth anniversary year of Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar. I urge each one of you to read the booklet Dr. B. B. Ambedkar, Ambedkar Labor Welfare and Empowerment Initiative to make his vision a reality, which was released on that occasion. We are committed to resolve to work collectively and collaboratively to reality, realize the vision of Dr. Ba Baba Sahib Ambedkar for labor welfare. Friends, industrial peace and harmony can be achieved only when the goals of employment and employability are in tune with the goals of industrial development and growth. It is our sad vision to have an environment which is conducive for inclusive growth and development of the country. I assure the state government, all the cooperation from the central government in all its efforts in this direction. I'm encouraged to work more for the welfare of the workforce of India and strive towards making India a better workplace for all. Let us all come together in making our country the best place to work and live in. Jai Hind. Thank you very much. Peri Orgale, Thai Margale, Nam Ipuddana Muria, Brother in Sorpoli Vaiketum, Nam Avrudi Anbana Varte Galaku. Nandri Sulla Kadame Patulum, Nat in Munetra Turkum, Valar Chikum, our Name Valinadithi Seladalukum, Nam Nandri Urutakuum, Manbumiga Pradamar Avergale, Tangalin Vartegal, 
மக்களை காப்பதற்கு நல் வழியாட்டி வழிகாட்டியாக அமையும் என்பதில் ஐயம் ஏதும் இல்லை லேடிஸ் அண்ட் ஜென்ட்ஸ்மென் வி ஹவ் ஜஸ்ட் ஹர்ட் அவர் ஹானரபிள் பிரைம் மினிஸ்டர் வி ஆர் இன்டெட்டட் அண்ட் தேங்க்ஃபுல் டு ஹிம் ஃபார் ஹிஸ் கைண்ட் வேர்ட்ஸ் வி ஆர் தேங்க்ஃபுல் டு ஹிம் ஃபார் ஷோயிங் அண்ட் லீடிங் த பாத் டு டெவலப்மெண்ட் அண்ட் க்ரோத் ஆஃப் த கண்ட்ரி ஹானரபிள் பிரைம் மினிஸ்டர் யுவர் வேர்ட்ஸ் will provide the right guidance to serve the people may i now humbly call upon shri deepak kumar director general esic to present the vote of thanks ippolude nandri urayatra esic talaimai yakunar tir deepak kumar avargalai anbodu varaverkirum on this occasion of inauguration of newly constructed building of esic medical college and hospital at koimbatore i on behalf of eic esic take pride and privilege in thanking the honorable prime minister for inaugurating this newly constructed building of esic medical college and hospital i also thank dr k rujaiya honorable governor tamil nadu sri bandaru duttatre our honorable minister of state independent charge for labor and employment Sri Pon Radha Krishnan Honorable Minister of State for Road Transport and Highways Government of India Sri P Mohan Honorable Labor Minister Government of Tamil Nadu Sri S T Velumani Honorable Minister of Municipal Administration and Rural Development Government of Tamil Nadu Dr C Vijay Bhaskar Honorable Health Minister Government of Tamil Nadu Sri P Nagarajan Honorable Member of Parliament Lok Sabha and all other dignitaries officials of Ministry of Labor and Employment and ESIC Government of India and Government of Tamil Nadu friends from the media and other distinguished guests over the years esic with its efficiency and progress has earned a name for itself the growth of esic as the leading social security organization of the country is now evident with the inauguration of this medical college by honorable prime minister i would once again like to reiterate our commitment to provide the best possible services to our beneficiaries so that they are healthy and productive and are able to give their best for the development of our national economy with these words i again thank all of you and convey my best wishes and greetings sir thank you sir